Anyway, here's two of the grow beds cut. Uh, everything's been cut, cleaned up. You can see the two fish tanks that I have over there. Uh, set up and ready to go. The sump next to them that's buried. Uh, and, you know, since I've, I've, since I've built this one before I decided to do the grow beds the other way, uh, to cut them without, so that there's no openings in them other than what I make. Uh, two of them, I'm going to use this to build two normal or regular type grow beds, which is why those two bases are there. Uh, you can see the drain pipe. Uh, I'm going to try using a three inch drain. I'm going to come out of all the uh, grow beds with a one inch auto siphon uh, drain. And I'm going to bore holes into the top of the three inch have them drop down in there and let that feed the uh, sump. That way if I have multiple beds draining at one time, the three inch should be able to handle it. Now you can see here the cages for the uh, grow beds when they're cut off the sides instead of top and bottom. Uh, you have to cut the cage the same way for it to fit. Uh, when you do that, the cages tend to expand outwards a little bit. I just took straps and pulled them in took five quarter deck boards and uh, self-tapping screws, pre-drilled the deck boards, ran the screws in, and used that to hold the uh, cages to shape. Uh, you put two deck boards because to me that's covering up enough of the plastic, I don't have to worry about painting it. And I would much rather do this than paint because I've never had good experience even with paints made for uh, painting plastic. Never had good experience with it. But anyway, so this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to have, starting off, it's going to be two 275 gallon fish tanks, a 275 gallon sump. I've got the pump for it. It does an amazing job. I had it out here earlier because the sump was full of water. And if you can see the water level in that one, about four or five inches in the base of that one, I need to drill a hole in the side of the sump to take that drain pipe in through and the water was too high. I would have been drilling into an area full of water, so I dropped the sump pump down in there and very pleased with it. I just got it last week and hadn't had it in service yet. It was pumping like crazy, but at any rate, this is how I'm doing it. Uh, like I said, those will block out the light good enough, and once I get the grow beds in place, plumbed and gravel in them, I'm gonna get some one by three and cap off these areas as well. Uh, on the ends, I'll probably rip it down to one by one and a half, or well, one by three is two and a half inches wide, so actually one and a quarter, just to cover up the ends there uh, and kind of dress it up a little bit, give it just a more finished look. Unfortunately, these two out here are going to pose problems, but I'll probably get some one by and wrap them to hide them and dress them up a little bit better too. Um, but it's a start. So I started my three inch up here. Uh, and it's dropping about a half inch every four foot. Uh, if, to get it to drop any steeper, I would have had to raise my grow beds up more. Uh, and I didn't want since my ground's not really level and I couldn't afford the expense of having everything leveled perfectly, it's a few inches out here and there. Uh, it's gonna change height a little bit. The grow beds are run level. So, and if you notice the different kinds of bricks, like I said, I'm on a budget here. I used what I had. Uh, Craigslist, I found somebody had a whole bunch of red bricks uh, free. You just haul them away, so I hauled those away. I had a couple of cinder blocks left over from projects here and there when I worked construction, and I went and bought some more cinder blocks, and that's what I used to level this up. So the tarp was so I could lay on the mulch without getting it all over my clothes today. So I'm working on getting everything plumped up, plumbed up. 